Alright guys, my name is Amena Goblin, and today just giving you a very quick guide on how to level your pets very fast in classic World of Warcraft. So the main problem when it comes to leveling up your pets is the fact that your character has to gain the experience in order for your pet to gain experience, which means you can't kill grey enemies and expect your pet to gain experience, right? No matter what level your pet is, you have to kill a mob that is going to grant you experience even if you are at level 60. So that's obviously a little bit of a problem because if you want to level a very low level pet because you like the look, it has a unique look, it's a rare mob and you really like it, for instance the black tiger, white tiger or anything like that or maybe you're leveling up broken to for its fast attack speed the issue is you can't bring it into a dungeon for example because the aggro circle is ridiculous you're going to pull half of black rock depths if you bring in a low level tiger into that dungeon so the way around this is my personal recommendation is to go out into the world kill very high level enemies right but make sure they are ranged enemies just to make your life a little bit easier when it comes to grinding because you won't have to be running around kiting getting into melee range and doing you know daft stuff like that so the best location is where I am right now so this is it's called Quill Lithian, Lithian Lodge, which is just north, most northern point, pretty much, of the Eastern Plaguelands. And you will find all these high elves, which are basically like blood elves. If you look at the, you, you know, this, this is place is just underneath the Ghostland, so that's probably why there's a load of high elves here. We're basically killing blood elves before uh, Burning Crusade is actually being released. An interesting thing about these enemies, particularly the rangers, okay, the ranger mob, they're just called ranger, that's all they're called. Um, pretty much does what it says on the tin, they are a ranged opponent and they are basically just like a duplicate hunter, they'll just use hunter abilities on you, so it's like having a hunter duel between these enemies between you and your enemy right, and they're just 100% ranged, you can just stay in, in ranged and just kill, use all your ranged abilities on these ranged opponents there are other mobs here which are melee though, you have to be careful of the pathfinders and the woodsmen, um, but they're fairly easy to take down, and I will Basically, you're going to have to man up and learn how to kite properly as well, and learn how to deal with enemies in melee range as well, which I will teach you to do. The first thing to note about this location, however, is that it's horde only, unfortunately. When you go here uh, as an alliance player, these enemies, for some reason, are green. So there's that, but I will have a cool location for the alliance um, at the end of the video as well. So the next really good location, okay, is this place here in Ajara. It's called... Fallacian base camp. Around this area you have blood elf enemies, right? And the great thing about these blood elf enemies is they're just ridiculously easy to kill. They have very low armor and very low health, so they die very quickly, which means they'll probably die before they're even really in melee range. And it so happens that half the mobs here are also ranged enemies, they're casters. But the, the thing to bear in mind though is when mobs die faster, it normally means that they do more damage, so that is also something to be wary of. One thing to take in mind with this area is that one, it's probably better when your pet is higher level because of the fact that the the reclaimer enemies they actually do heal. You can be crafty about your rotation. You can kind of open with a few soft hits and then chain up kind of an aim shot and a mortar shot quite close together to kind of finish off the mob after you get to about half health. If you time it quite correctly, you get lucky with crits. Then you normally kill them before they get their heal off. So that is like something to bear in mind of this location. But I will have basically have an extra location for you if you don't like this location as well. The extra location is called Black Rock Stronghold. It's here on the map. These mobs, you know, are quite high level, they're quite decent. There's a lot of them, they respawn quickly. There's a lot of them, particularly inside the stronghold itself, and a lot of them are actually ranged, which makes things even easier for, for, for a hunter. So the only disadvantage with, disadvantage with this location is it's quite high contested and um, you probably see other people grinding this location as well so that's just one thing to bear in mind. So let me show you these ranged enemies. I'm going to show you how basically 100% of the time when these enemies attack you they just use ranged abilities. Let's imagine for a second my pet, you know, he's low level, I don't want him in combat at all. Obviously when he, the pet is high level you can just use your pet in combat and you can pretty much grind on any single mob in the game. It's probably better grinding spot than this one to be honest. But let's just imagine he's low level, I'm going to keep him on passive. One thing to bear in mind is when your pet is low level his aggro circle is huge, so do also bear that in mind. 
So I'm just going to open up combat. And when it comes to your rotation, I mean, you kind of have to experiment with, with what is the most mana efficient rotation, but I think just Serpent Sting and Aim Shot is going to be fine. It depends what kind of build you've got currently have, but as you can see, like, we're just having a little bit of a ranged battle here. It's He's not coming up into melee range, and I can just continue to use my range abilities to my heart's content, and it's happy days. So from here, I'm going to move on and just basically give you advice on how to deal with mobs which are going to engage you in melee range. It is important to note that these enemies are actually quite difficult. They do pack quite a punch, um, but it, they do go down pretty quickly, and the best thing about it is you will get pet XP very quickly. But yeah, do bear in mind that they do pack quite a punch. So let's imagine that this, you know, this is a melee mob. I don't, I'm not going to use my pet. Best thing to do, obviously, is just to kind of open with as much slows as you can and get Serpent Sting on as early as possible and kite for as long as possible. When he gets into melee range, what I like to do is like to strafe and use wing clip. But what you can do is you can just engage into melee if you want. So I have a macro which I can show you right now, which just does every single melee ability. You probably won't have to worry about it being this complicated when the classic comes out because we'll have retail macros. But really, it just kind of—it's like kind of like your bread and butter melee macro. Does everything into one macro. You can just spam it and do pretty decent melee damage, to be honest. So if you get into melee range, you can do that, or you can just continue to kite. In a lot of situations, you won't be able to continue to kite because you can kind of imagine there's mobs that have just respawned behind me right now. I can't kite. Like I couldn't kite this guy anymore because this guy will pull as well. So. Obviously, there's that to bear in mind, so that's why there's melee macro. Because right now, like, kiting is out of question, really. Because I'm just going to pull more mobs, so that's why this melee macro comes in quite useful. 